episode is I, your favorite voiceover, Peggy Nikki. <laughs> it is time for more uh, diamond painting. We are still working on our Tinkerbell. The game we are enjoying, both sound and visually up in the corner there, is Arcade Full of Cats. Basically, it's a find the cat, you know, kind of like a where is Waldo, but where are the cats? <laughs> the music is very upbeat. It's, you know, 80s, 90s, early 2000s. You're exploring an arcade. You may have noticed that I am no longer using a, just like a blinding ring light. I got a light board. And you are going to notice my struggle. You are going to sit there and notice my struggle to figure out a perfect camera angle, the best place to put my camera. You're going to notice that I knock my camera a lot, that I tap it, I poke it, I shove it. It, it's, it bugged me. I'm still figuring out what to do. I have no tripod or anything yet again still, but I got a light board now, so now it's a little easier to see where I'm placing diamonds down even with my awkward camera. At least I hope. It looks like you can. Um, at the very end of the diamond painting, I did go a little longer than the game. I'm trying to match up the amount of time that I diamond paint with the amount of time the game is, so that way there's not too much like one without the other. But at the very end, right before, you know, the, you know, the best video for viewers or last uploaded video for, view, you know, card thing at the end, there is a progress picture of this diamond painting. It's not the best photo I took it with my phone, but it is a progress photo that shows you where we currently are on the painting. And like zoomed in on this painting and I'm sure every other diamond artist hobbyist out there understands it as well. It never looks good while you sit there and just line it up because all you can see because even looking at the video and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to think the same thing as you're staring at it is these diamonds are crooked. <laughs> I'm very tempted to get that diamond stencil but when you step back and look at your progress from a distance, you can see how beautiful it's going to look. You're also, you might, I don't know if it can show, if it shows in the photo or not, but um, during the time when, okay, you kind of can, I'm looking at it now, you kind of can tell at the top left corner that it looks like some stuff got in between the gems like while it was sitting on my desk and that's pro pro mostly my fault for not properly covering it or putting it somewhere safe while I was in recovery. I, so my cats, kids probably spilled some sort of dusty item like food crumbs or something on it and so that's okay it's just that corner. This is diamond painting number two and very and you know we're, we're working through it we're almost done. <laughs> Oh, our next one is going to be the Diamond Art Club one that I was able to get. I'm very excited for that. But I'm going to let you guys enjoy the awesome music. And you will also get to see me struggling to find some of these cats. I know it's in the tiny corner up at the top. So you guys can't see all the cats as well. Like as clearly as I can. Or probably can. Because I couldn't see anything. I have, to, I had to step away for a little while and I have forgotten what I was last talking about. I think it was along the line of letting you guys continue enjoying the game and the work in progress. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment of what we should talk about or anything in general, I don't care. <laughs> Hit that little notification bell. You can always help support over on Ko-Fi. If you would like to, no pressure whatsoever. This is just me putting in a shameless plug. Uh, don't forget that if you are interested in paint gem, you can use code PIGGY, P-I-G-G-Y, 
for a percentage off your first order. All right, this is where I fade off into the distance and you guys enjoy your time. Bye.
Joyce, man.